guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexia. And I'm Rami. And today we're gonna to be drifting the edge here in Miami, Florida for kingfish and we're gonna be bottom fishing at the same time. So you guys just saw that we caught some bait and yeah. So yeah, we caught some baby blue runners. We have some cigars and then a couple ballyhoo and we'll show you how we set everything up right now. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so now Rami's gonna show you guys what rigs we're using and how to hook up the bait. Okay, so we're gonna be using two bottom rods. We have the two TLD 20s. Uh, we have about, we're using a three-way swivel. It's mainline to liter, about 50 pound test of fluorocarbon, eight feet. So then I just a J hook. And then we're gonna be using like three feet of just 30 pound test with a weight. And so that's our bottom rig. And then we are also using, we're gonna be drifting flat lines of wire just like it's about three or four inches of wire number three wire and then a tiny circle hook and that's gonna be for the the baby blue runners for the kingfish and we'll be fishing two of those at once yeah and then for this one what we're gonna be using is the same as before wire with a j-hook but this time we have just like an inch and a half to two inches of a stinger rig so it has a treble hook and since our baits aren't too big this is like perfect size but if your bait's bigger you can make it longer and stuff so yeah Okay, so here we have a baby blue runner, perfect size. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna all right, to hook these. You're gonna go through the nose here with the J hook, and then you're gonna pass this treble hook, which I could have made it longer, but it's all right. I'm just gonna put that right there. Right in the back. And then you just toss this guy out. Let him swim. He went under the boat. I'm gonna recast him. <laughs> Alright, so we just casted him out. We're just gonna let him run all the way. Just keep on letting the line out for a little bit and then we'll close the bit. Yeah. Alright, so for the bottom rods, we're gonna be using a cigar. So let me catch one. So we kind of want one a little more lively and all fired up and actiony. And then you're gonna take the line with the hook on it and we're gonna pass it through his nose. Right there. Okay, there it goes. And then yeah, you're gonna toss the fish out first and then the weight. So let him swim, see where he goes. And then we're just gonna toss the weight out. And then we're gonna open the bale, make sure it's free. Send him down. So all good to go. My bait going all the way to the bottom. Alright guys, first fish of the day. Let's see what it is. It's got a long way up. Alright, it's coming up. Looks pinkish. Oh, mudden. Oh, so we've got a nice mudden. Looks a little too small. <laughs> he just got hooked right yeah, there. Right on the outside. So these guys. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's gone. Uh, well, at least he slammed down. Yeah. I mean, at least you could tell he was ready to go back home and he lived that time. So these guys have to be 18 inches. So that was way below yeah. the limit. But. A little too small, but we're going to try again and see if maybe we can get a bigger one. All right, Alexia. All right, let's see what's coming up right now. Oh, I see color. What do we got? What do we got? 
Ooh. Oh, it's a mudden. It's looking pinkish. It's a mudden. No way. Yeah. Nice oh no. It's another small one, I think. It's a nice one, Alexia. Ooh, look at him. Are you sure? Should we measure him? Yeah, no, he ain't, he ain't 18. But we'll, we'll give him a little measure. Yeah, let's see want. so we can get an estimate of what we should be looking at. This guy is uh, 15. 15 and a half. All right, catch and release. Ooh. There he goes. Oh. There he goes. Down he, he goes. He made it. He made it. Okay. Everyone we catch is getting a little bit bigger than the last one. So hopefully we get lucky and land one legal one. Oh. <laughs> Think we have a kingfish It's on. screaming. We're hoping it's a kingfish. All right, all right. Oh my god. Maybe a, maybe a big one. Bring this line. This guy, tell okay, me okay. real quick. Is it recording? Yeah. You're gonna got this, a big one, huh? Okay. A very big one. You see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is a nice one. Okay, let's take it off the gas. No, no, it's going on gas. Let's right. see. Guys, dude. Teasy. Nice one, Rami. Oh my god, he's thrashing around. Let's get some. Yeah. Let's go. You. Man down, man down. You ordered it. <laughs> Guys, that was crazy. It came out of nowhere, and that wasn't even on the, the rod we had set up for a king. That was on our bottom rod. But oh, look nice at one. this nice one. Dude. That is sick. All right. All right, well, I guess we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so that's a wrap. We ended the day with one nice kingfish, and we also caught two smaller muddins, but we had to release them because they were undersized. And so we'll see you guys back at the dock. Yeah, and if you guys want to know how we got so lucky, it's because we had the bananas on board. <laughs> yeah, they say they're bad luck, but I don't know. They work. Guys, we're back at the dock and we're just gonna get into filleting this kingfish right now. I'm using a Victorinox six inch blade and yeah, so we'll just jump right into it. So, to start, I do a cut right behind the pictorial fin and then I'm gonna do one right back here in the tail and then I'm just gonna follow the knife all along the, the spine. You can feel it like touch the spine. Oops, <laughs> that one a bit too deep. It's very soft meat, so 
cuts very easy. And now we're going to do the same thing on this side. All the way down. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna lift the meat up. Just run the knife all along this part. Okay, we're gonna lift that up. Now we have that filet. This is a gaff shot. It's very, the meat is very soft, so you can see it like flaking already. But that's one side. We'll do the other side real quick. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so I kind of butchered the fillet a little bit. I left some meat, but it was very soft, so it's okay. And then you could tell he was kind of starving because his stomach is pretty empty. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna toss this guy in. Catch and release. Let them gator. <laughs> Cutie was hungry. Yes, yeah, so we've got our nice two slabs of filet right here. I'm just gonna remove its rib cage here where the stomach is. I'm just gonna cut there. I could give that to Cutie. And she hasn't seen it yet. This filet is Cutie, pretty much done. You. you could skin it if you want or leave it with the skin. I'm just gonna leave it for the skin for now and then I'll probably remove it depending on what I'm gonna cook because I'm not sure yet. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So here we have the two slabs of kingfish all ready to go. Most people don't like eating kingfish because they think like it tastes very oily, but if you know how to cook it right, they could taste very good. Uh, most people smoke it, but we're gonna try a different recipe today. Yeah, let's go. What's up guys? So this is a new location that we're filming in right now, but we're actually on our way to the supermarket to go gather some ingredients that we're gonna be making and using in the recipe, so yeah. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're at our local supermarket and we're going to be looking for some fresh ingredients that we're going to use in our recipe. So we got our lemons. We need some cilantro. And having some radishes. So yeah, we're going to get some radishes and then a beet. Looking for a beet. Like a small beet. Yeah, like this one. This one's good. <laughs> we'll figure out what we'll do with that. Alright, sweet. So now we're just making sure we're not missing anything. All right guys, so we've got the goods here and yeah, let's head back to the house so we can cook it up. You. All right, we're back at the cribby and we're just gonna pick out some fresh chili chips. Chili chips. Yeah, we got two of these. Nice. These are so spicy, but they're so good. The goods. All right, and then we're gonna get some star fruit. Boom, fresh star fruit. Look at that. Amazing. Uh, I think this is the only one that's ripe. Oh, let's search. This is, this is you good only enough. need one. We yeah. one. Alright, this is perfect. So, we have some fresh ingredients and then some store bought ingredients. A little right, mixture of both. Let's go cook. Alright, guys, so we are back at the house and we've got all of our ingredients and we are planning to make a sashimi styled ceviche. So yeah, let's get started. Let's get right into it. Step number one is juicing the lemon. For this recipe, we're pretty much just gonna be using a radish, a star fruit, beet, two chili peppers, some cilantro, and then we use some orange juice and we use some lemon juice, which is already in here. So for this recipe, it's actually pretty simple. All we've gotta do is like chop up all of these little vegetables and fruits, like super thin and it's pretty much like a garnish, and then you already have this sauce. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so step one is juice the lemons. So we're gonna just... Cut that thing in half. Nice little 
we'll cut in half. Yeah, get that juice. Put that muscle into <laughs> it. Okay, now we're gonna juice half of an orange. Yeah, and we use the skin for zest on another recipe, so that's why the orange is looking a little funny. And we can mix it with the lemon juice, no biggie. Yeah, this one's got a lot of juice in it. All right. For the garnish, you want to make sure it is super... Like, almost paper thin, like... I don't know if you could see that, but... You could, like, see through it somewhat, like... Yeah. It needs to be super thin. And just set it aside for later. And we're gonna be cutting the star fruit. <laughs> I saw that. Mm, that's good. <laughs> and we're gonna be cutting the star fruit super thin as well. Set it aside. So we're trying to keep the ceviche super light and so we are gonna be making sure that we get those thin slices. Now we have these chilies that we're just gonna thinly slice them. Oh, those are hot. You can even smell them. That's good enough. <laughs> All right, so the cilantro is the last ingredient we need to put our dish together. Finally it's minced. Super, super fine. So now that we've got all of our ingredients laid out, we're gonna plate the dish. So we added the, the minced cilantro into this uh, lemon juice and orange juice, and we're just gonna pour that on the middle. And now we're also gonna pour it on top of the fish. Okay, now we're gonna put the radish. We're gonna add in the beets. And some orange wedges. And some chili peppers. Lastly, we're gonna add in the star fruit slices. All right, so here we have our kingfish sashimi with orange and lemon juice, orange wedges, radish, beet, some peppers, and cilantro with some star fruit. All right guys, so that's a wrap on the recipe and it looks amazing as you can see. So this is gonna be a first bite test <laughs> and we're gonna try and get a little bit of everything. Yeah. Orange, and then dip it all in that sauce. Mm. It is so refreshing to have. This is such a good, easy recipe to make for a one. This is pretty good, guys. Yeah, we only plated one plate, but we have like a bunch of the ingredients right there, so we'll just. 
get I'll some more <laughs> Alright guys, so that's a wrap on our Kingfish Sashimi video. Yeah, so if you guys made it this far into the video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment for what you guys want to see next. And stay tuned till next Wednesday. Yeah, we'll catch you guys then. Bye!